What's up, family? Good morning. Happy Friday. So, get to it real quick, make this short and sweet. I've still been seeing a whole bunch of stuff about the Colin Kaepernick uh, protests. A lot of different opinions uh, from the wide spectrum of friends and family that I have. Respect your opinion. Some people for it, some people totally against it. Me, I'm definitely for it. Um, not to get long-winded to try, there's two things that I thought about. Well, just my overall thoughts. Um, people get so upset about how he's protesting, but they're not as upset about why or the actions or activities that have happened to cause him to protest. It's funny how we try to tell the oppressed people how to feel or how to respond. It's not violent. He's just not standing up for the national anthem. It's not anti-American. It's not anti-soldier. Um, it's not any of that. It's anti-oppression. It's anti-discrimination. Um, my dad was a 20-year military vet. I'm one of the most patriotic dudes. You know what I'm saying? I have a diverse, diverse because of the military background of friends and family. My family personally is, di is uh, diverse with my Korean and white wife. Mm -hmm. So, that being said, guys, it's two things, two thoughts, of all the thoughts. Um, if, basically, picture that you build a house, the house is America. People of color were a big part of building America from the ground. With their labor, with their hard work, with their blood, with the death of women and children with rape of women. So we build the house. Picture you build your own house and then somebody says, hey, you know what? Knock on your door. I'm going to come and take this house for, from you. And I'm not going to give you anything for it. I'm not going to acknowledge your contribution. How would you feel? Some, right now, if you're sitting at home, if you think about it, you sitting at home with your family and somebody just basically came and kicked in the door. Nope, that's not how you're going to do that. I'm going to take that. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Get out. That's essentially what's happened in America. Number two, one of the biggest things that people say, man, is that if, ever, if, ever, if anybody ever did something to my family, if somebody did something to my wife, if somebody hurt my kid, man, I don't know what I would do. That's what America's done. That's what America has done to people of color. But y'all want to tell people of color, well, I know that that's happened to you, but I still want you to be, stay in your place. Think about that. How would you feel if somebody came and took your children, took your wife, took your husband, took your family, and try to eradicate, like systematically eradicate that whole situation to where you will stay downtrodden, disenfranchised, poor, uneducated. How would you feel? So saying that I won't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance is small compared to that, right? Some would disagree, but this is my last thought. They say he makes millions of dollars, so he should just shut up and, you know, he, he made a hundred million. And da, da, da. Okay. Y'all, money is relative as far as what's a lot, who's rich, who's poor, is relative. But what's, what's true and irrefutable is that there's a certain small percentage of people that control mostly everything, okay? And what you have to look at, guys, is we all, me going to work, you going to work, Colin Kaepernick, $100 million, LeBron, hundreds of millions of dollars, whoever you want to think of, you're all, we're all just versions of new slaves. The plantation looks different, but we still slaves. And especially for people of color, 99% of the time, even when we've made it, you don't have, you don't own anything. There's nothing you can green light. I listened to an interview with Spike Lee. He's like, there's no, 
black people they can green light a film you have to go somewhere to somebody else that's not typically not of color to give you the green light so once you look at it that way he makes a hundred million but how much does if he you gotta guys we get so caught up like say for instance Michael Jordan I forgot how much I think Mike from his Jordan stuff gets a hundred million dollars a year I can't remember I could be getting the number wrong but the brand of Jordan makes a billion in a year <laughs> people say oh he got so much money off of his back off of his hard work <laughs> it makes a billion they say his cut of it is a hundred Let's say it was 300, 400, 5 is it enough? It's off of me. So that's how you got to look. He can be making that much, but in order for me and you to get paid as much as we do, we got to look at how much the CEOs and bosses are making. So what are we talking about here? And just because you're a millionaire doesn't mean that you're devoid of feeling discrimination. That's the new slave mind. The new slave mind, even at my level. Oh, you're middle class. You doing all right. Man, stop. And in most of us that could be honest, we one or two paychecks or pay periods, however you want to break it down, take two of them joints out. And some phone calls got to get made. So anyway, y'all, I have so many thoughts on it, but I just wanted to put that out there. And, uh... That's my two cents. We love y'all. Peace.